Tory Day weekend is coming up, meaning you might be planning on spending a little bit of time outdoors, which is great. We want you to. Now, whether that be by lighting off some fireworks and maybe enjoying some time by a campfire, well, we need to make sure we know the rules first. So joining us now are two members of the Hamilton Fire Department to remind you to take care when handling fireworks. Hello both to Scott and Susan. Thank you both so much for being here today. Um, Long weekend. This is kind of traditionally, I guess, when you start to see you see the fireworks and you see some campfires going up. What are some of the rules that Hamiltonians need to know? Susan, we'll start off with you if that's sure. okay. What are some rules that we need to know as Hamiltonians regarding fireworks? Do you want to do the fireworks or the, the fire? Let's do the fireworks. First. You want to do the fireworks. Sure. We're doing fireworks first. What do we need to know? Well, first off, thank you for having us. This is great, and we can uh, touch base with everybody in the community and let them know the, the proper rules. Uh, so, fireworks. Uh, we have a bylaw in Hamilton that um, gives the rules and regulations on, on who can set off fire, or fireworks, where they can be set off, mm -hmm. um, how they're set off. Um, and, and people need to know that they should follow those rules so that everybody's safe in the community, um, property's safe, children are safe. So uh, we have a few rules. People that are 18 of years of age can purchase the fireworks. Right. Uh, anybody who's under that age cannot purchase the fireworks. Uh, we have um, areas in the city that cannot have the fireworks set off, i.e. the uh, parks, city parks, uh, city parkettes, um, streets. You actually cannot take your fireworks out onto the street and let the fireworks off. Okay. You have to have uh, your own property or have the permission from the owner to set off the fireworks on that property. We, we do see a lot of street parties though with fireworks going off and we, mm -hmm. I, live, I back onto a park and I see lots of people going into the parks. What are some, how do we manage that? Uh, am I supposed to call? What, what happens? Sure, if, if you see people, you know, setting them off in the areas where they're not supposed to, you can call the Hamilton Fire Department at 905 546 mm -hmm. 3333 and press option number five and okay. that will put you through to a communications operator or officer where they will take your your complaint um, let's say that you are in a proper location lighting off fireworks what are some things you need to have nearby in case something gets out of hand so if you're setting off your fireworks you want to be looking at your fireworks prior to even setting it up there's there's um, specifics on on their height the uh, the distance away that people should be. Mm -hmm. When you're setting them off, you want to set them off so that they are upwind from everybody. So mm -hmm. you're, you have a safe area for everyone to be viewing the, the fireworks from. Yep. Uh, children should not be setting off the fireworks. Um, aim them slightly away from where your crowd is so mm -hmm. that they're kind of going away from them just slightly. Um, ensure that you have a hose or a fire extinguisher or a bucket of sand nearby yep. so that you, you can extinguish them if something was to go wrong. Um, make sure that your firework is, is set into some sand nice and uh, tight so that it doesn't tip over while you're setting them off. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you see some hor horrific things on, on social media with oh, you do. fireworks gone awry, if you yes. will. Yes, yeah. yes. Even uh, in Hamilton we've had that. Yeah, too. I'm sure yeah. you I'm sure we have, and mm -hmm. we'll get more to that in a second. And I so I refer to you as Scott, my apologies. Steve, Steve thank you thank very you, thank much you. for being here. Fires are also a big part of this as well. Sitting around yeah. a campfire, great tradition. However, in, in the urban areas, it is a no-no. Explain to us what consists of an open air fire, what you can and can't do. Thanks, Mike. Well, open air burning, there is a bylaw in the city of Hamilton, um, and it regulates how fires are constituted in the city of Hamilton. So right now, Open air burning cannot be conducted in any urban, so that's your city. It can only be done in rural areas. And when it is out in rural areas, you still have to get a permit. That's correct, yes. You have to have an actual open air burn permit, and once you, you can purchase them on, right now, uh, we're purchasing them at the actual municipal centers oh, okay. throughout the city. And from there, um, you take your permit, you have it. So you have to follow all the guidelines on the back of the permit, right. just to make sure that you, you're, you're coherent to making sure. Campfire is a small portion. It's like 0.6 meters. Like it can be in a small, like a, a rim or uh, like bricks or anything like that. But also the open air burning also constitute for cleaning brush. 
and then there's a certain pile size. The maximum pile size for that is two meters by two meters by one meter in height. Okay. If you decide that you need more than that, that has to go through the chief fire official for open air burning. So if, if I'm a family right now, May 2-4 is coming up, I got my fireworks, I'm going to be putting out a campfire, I'm living on the Hamilton Mountain, that's a big no-no right there. If, I, if I'm a neighbor, if I'm walking a dog through a park and I see something going on, what steps should I take regarding an open burning fire? What, what you should do, Mike, is that you should actually contact the, the fire department at 905. Same number. Same number. 546. 3333, option five. five. Give us the address and our crews will respond. Uh, they won't come lights and sirens. They will actually just come and just check, the th check to make sure what you're doing. If it is open air burning in the urban area and you don't have a permit, which you won't have, they will request you put it out. And then eventually from, you'll get a warning letter after that, just stating the facts that you can't do it again. And if you do, there possibly could be charges under the bylaw. And they will also ensure that it is out completely they before will. they yes, leave. They will. Yes, yeah. they will. Um, so, so, Susan, we, we have all of this going on here. So much of this is common sense as it well. It sure is. At the end yeah. of the day, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, what are some more tips that people can, can think about, be prepared for um, as we go into this May 2-4 long weekend here? Basically, use your common sense. Have respect for your, your neighbors. Mm, yes. You know, um, make sure that you're not setting them off uh, on uh, the wrong date. Yeah, yes. We actually had a new bylaw come out two years ago. You can only set off fireworks on Victoria Day or Canada Day. Mm -hmm. If there is inclement weather, weather, then you can set them off the following day. But that's it. You can't set them off on the Friday or the Saturday it, or the Sunday. It has to be on the actual uh, on Holiday. the actual day, so yeah. May, May 2, 4, make sure you do it on, right. on uh, make, make, that all makes sense. In regards to the fire, I know we were talking about uh, they will come, they'll give issue a warning. Same with fireworks, they'll come issue a warning. Uh, they will come, uh, municipal law will probably municipal. do the enforcement okay. and uh, that could result in an immediate ticket. Uh, is there a, a one pager somewhere on the World Wide Web or something people can go to for oh, all sure this information? Yeah. Um, uh, www.hamilton.ca slash fire. Yeah. Uh, if you scroll through, you can find the uh, fireworks information and the open air They're burning information yes. as yeah. well. As um, well as other great fire safety. A, a lot of great fire safety tips for sure. And, and finally, I, I, we have to go here. I know they will ask when you call the communications, well, are, are they cooking something? How does that play into an open air fire, yet they have a grill on it and they're barbecuing some hot dogs? Is, is, as long as it's legit, like it, it has to be legit cooking that, and, and the crews will actually, the captain and, and the crews will actually look at it and see if it's legit cooking. Yeah. It's not just roasting marshmallows or anything that, if they deem it that you're, ju you're just not doing proper legit cooking, you're yeah. cooking steaks or meat, you just got some hot dogs hanging there or something yeah. that looks like you're cooking something. Good to know. They're, they're, they're going to make you put it out because yeah. y it's not it's not for that open air burning if you do do that and you are cooking it has to be completely extinguished afterwards there's no ambiance later or roasting marshmallows afterwards propane fire uh, pits and bowls are good though yes, yes they are because they're classed as an appliance just like your barbecue that yep. you're allowed to use and they are allowed in the urban area and it's more of a controlled flame i guess yes, that it way, is. right you're yeah. not going to have the sparks and everything no coming it, out. And, and it can be set to sort of different flame right, yeah. effect right folks we got to go i'm getting yelled at by my producer okay. thank you all so much for thank coming so and much. more information on the city of hamilton website when we come back we'll learn about a service that can help you with living a healthy lifestyle we'll be right back after this